Let's slow this down and talk like real humans who've actually lived with computers for a long time. Right now, there's a question quietly spreading across tech forums, YouTube comments, office break rooms, and even family WhatsApp groups. Why is everyone suddenly recommending Linux Mint over Windows? Not loudly, not aggressively, just calmly saying, try Mint, you might like it. That alone is interesting, because Linux users used to sound like missionaries. Now they sound like neighbors giving practical advice. So let's unpack this properly, without hype, without slogans, and without pretending one operating system magically fixes life. This is a working theory grounded in experience, not ideology. For decades, Windows was the default reality. You didn't choose it, it arrived pre-installed, like furniture in a rented apartment. You learned its quirks, adapted to its habits, and tolerated its moods because there was no real alternative for everyday people. But something changed over the last 10 years, slowly enough that many didn't notice at first. Windows stopped feeling like a tool you owned and started feeling like a system that owned you. Updates began interrupting work instead of supporting it. Settings multiplied while becoming harder to find. Hardware requirements rose even when performance gains didn't. Online accounts became mandatory. Ads appeared in places that once felt private. The operating system began nudging, suggesting, reminding, recommending, and occasionally insisting. None of this happened overnight. That's why it worked. Now enter Linux Mint not as a revolution, but as a contrast. Linux Mint doesn't try to impress you. It doesn't try to teach you new habits. It doesn't try to redefine how desktops should work. It quietly says, here's your computer, use it. The first boot into Linux Mint is rarely dramatic. There's no cinematic animation, no loud welcome screen, no pressure to sign in. What people often feel instead is something oddly emotional. Relief. The menu is where muscle memory expects it to be, files behave like files, settings are written in plain language. You don't feel watched, you don't feel rushed, you don't feel like the system is negotiating with you. That feeling alone explains half of Mint's popularity. Let's talk about control, because that's the core theme whether people realize it or not. On Linux Mint, updates are respectful. They wait, they explain themselves, they don't reboot your machine because a schedule says so. You choose when your system changes. That sounds small until you've lost work to an unexpected restart one too many times. Control also shows up in what doesn't happen. No forced feature rollouts, no surprise interface changes, no background experiments being run on your machine. Mint moves carefully, and when it does change, it explains why. Performance is the next big reason people recommend it, especially to anyone with hardware that isn't brand new. Linux Mint is efficient in a way modern operating systems rarely are. It doesn't assume you have the latest processor. It doesn't treat 8 gigabytes of RAM as a joke. Older laptops, desktops rescued from storage, machines Windows has quietly abandoned suddenly feel capable again. Fans spin less, boot times shorten. Systems feel responsive not because Mint is magically fast, but because it's not constantly busy doing things you didn't ask for. That distinction matters. Privacy is another factor that people often mention carefully, almost apologetically as if they don't want to sound paranoid. Linux Mint does not track you, it does not profile your behavior, it does not require an online identity to function. There's no online telemetry pipeline quietly collecting usage data by default. The system exists to run software, not to study its user. For some people, this is philosophical. For others, it's deeply practical. They simply want a computer that does not talk about them when they're not looking. Software is usually where skepticism appears, so let's dismantle that gently. Most people don't actually need specialized software. They browse the web, they write documents, they watch videos, they manage files, they print PDFs. Linux Mint handles all of this immediately, without downloads, licenses, or trials. For creative and professional work, the ecosystem has matured enormously. Many tools are native, Others run perfectly well through compatibility layers. Gaming, once the easiest criticism, is no longer a punchline. 
It's not identical to Windows, but it's no longer a deal-breaker for most players. What surprises many users is not that alternatives exist, but that they're good, quietly good, mature, stable. Stability deserves its own moment. Linux Mint does not chase trends. It does not redesign itself every year. It does not experiment on its users. The Cinnamon desktop evolves slowly, deliberately, and conservatively. That's not a flaw, that's a design philosophy. People who recommend Mint often do so after years of fatigue. They are tired of relearning basics, tired of UI changes no one asked for, tired of workflows breaking for the sake of novelty. Mint respects time, your time. There's also a psychological shift that happens when people move to Linux Mint, and it's hard to quantify. The computer stops being the center of attention. You don't fight it, you don't manage it constantly, you don't wonder what it's doing in the background. It becomes invisible, which is the highest compliment you can give a tool. Now, to be intellectually honest, Linux Mint is not perfect. No operating system is. Certain niche software still requires Windows. Some hardware needs extra configuration. Learning happens, especially at the edges. But here's the key difference. When something goes wrong in Linux Mint, it feels solvable. Error messages are readable, communities are helpful, fixes don't involve reinstalling the entire system or waiting for the next major update. Problems feel technical, not bureaucratic. That sense of agency matters more than features. So why is everyone recommending Linux Mint over Windows? Because Mint gives people back something they didn't realize they'd lost. Ownership, calm, predictability, respect. It's not about hating Windows. It's not about being a rebel. It's about choosing an operating system that behaves like a guest in your home instead of a landlord. Linux Mint doesn't promise the future. It delivers the present, cleanly and reliably. And in a world full of noise, that quiet competence is exactly why its reputation keeps growing. That's the real story behind the recommendation, and it's why, once people switch, they rarely rush to switch back.